YouTube and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 4. My name is Amelia if you are new here and I'm so glad to have you here on my channel with me. Um, today we're going to do a little Sunday reset. It is Sunday today. If you're not sure exactly what a Sunday reset is, it's it can be whatever it looks like to you but essentially the idea behind a Sunday reset is um, basically getting yourself ready for the upcoming week. Um, it's decluttering your home, cleaning up your home, organizing your space, your environment, yourself, getting yourself ready, doing a little self-care. Um, basically just getting your environment and yourself and your mind in a nice, clean, organized space so that you're setting yourself up for success for the upcoming week. Um, throughout the week and throughout the weekend, things can maybe go untidied, um, things get thrown around, you know, I mean, you're living in your space, right? That's the whole point of it. Um, and sometimes you just need to reset yourself, right? So that's what we're going to do today. And for me, what that means is um, a little bit of self-care. So, I mean, it's first thing in the morning. I already had my coffee um, and I did my skincare this morning, but I might want to ice roll my face um, because like my under eyes are a little puffy, things like that. Um, and then I want to get myself to the gym. Um, getting to the gym is super important for me, getting my body moving. I always talk about movement. So movement's super important. And then, as you can see behind me, just tidying up this space on the floor. Behind me, there's a pile of clothes on the floor. I just took those out of the dryer, so I need to fold them, put them away. Um, but instead of making my bed, I'm actually gonna take this as an opportunity to take all the bedding off and wash that so that I have fresh, clean bedding for the week. Um, if there's any clothes in the hamper, I'm gonna throw them in the laundry as well. Um, so it's just, I'm gonna clean my space, um, dust off any furniture in here. Um, what else, what else, what else? Vacuum, of course. And then in my workspace, it's in the basement wipe everything down, clean the floors. Um, if there's anything left out on the desk, which there shouldn't be, because when I'm done my work day, I typically clean up all the papers and everything off my desk. Um, but if there was anything out, I would just, you know, put everything in its rightful place. Um, and then I need to go grocery shopping later. So I'm gonna make sure that I create myself a little healthy grocery list so that I have healthy staple items to get me through the week. Um, so we'll do a little grocery haul. What else? Let me, in fact, I made a list on my phone. Let me grab it. By the way, another part of Sunday Reset is actually creating a to-do list for yourself um, to stay organized. So I already did my to-do list last night while I was in bed. Um, Actually, while I'm at the gym, part of what I want to do is I want to go in the sauna. There's so many benefits of um, going into a sauna, and luckily my gym has one. Um, let's see, I already went over laundry, cleaning my bathroom. I live with a man. They can be a little messy for the most part. Mine's pretty good, but I mean, men shave. Their little shavings get all over the place and things like that, so... Um, plus it's just good to, at least like every other day, wipe down your bathroom, at least for me, like, I don't know, I just feel like I have to clean my bathroom at least every other day. Um, and then, once everything is all said and done, I need to take a shower because tonight we are going to a Christmas light display. Um, it's actually kind of far, it's like an hour away, so I'm going to do some, like, self-care before we get ready for that. Um, before I get in my shower, I'm going to do some dry brushing because it's so cold. My skin has been super dry. So part of that is before I jump in the shower, I'm going to do some dry brushing. Um, I have a little dry like paddle brush. So you just take the dry paddle brush and you just kind of like gently go over your skin. Gets rid of any like dead skin cells. 
before you get in the shower. So it's kind of like exfoliating. Um, and then when I get out of the shower, I'll make sure I lotion up. I also have some body oil that I'll put on. Um, and then just make sure that I do some skincare before I put some makeup on, which I'll probably redo when I get home and wash my makeup off anyway, but it's fine. Um, and it's just all about doing that self-care. And then I am actually counting spending time with my husband doing these Christmas excursions, we'll call them, as self-care because I feel like spending that quality time with the people that you love as self-care. So that is my Sunday reset. So without further ado, I think the first thing that I need to do is start the laundry process. <laughs> um, like I said, I took some clothes out of the dryer. I'm gonna fold them, put them away, and throw some sheets in the washing machine before I'm able to head off to the gym so that that's going while we're at the gym. majority of the bedding is in the wash right now. This is just my comforter, which I have to wash separately, but I need to throw on my jacket. So I am ready for the gym. These leggings are from Aloe. These are the Highway 7 8 leggings, the airbrush ones, I think. I'll link them below if I can find them. And then this sports bra is from Lululemon, along with my jacket this is the define jacket i got this last year i think um so if i can find these i will link these below for you as well of course um before i head to the gym i want a face roll because i feel like i need to still like wake up and i feel like part of a good reset is just making sure that you feel refreshed and revitalized so before i head to the gym i need to like get in a good headspace for that um, and feel more like awake and actually ready to go to the gym. So I'm going to go face roll um, or ice roll my face. See, I'm not even awake to like speak today. So let's go do that. Okay, got my face roller. Um, this one I just got off of Amazon. It was so like inexpensive. I will, again, Leave this below for you. We don't gatekeep around here, okay? So whatever you guys see me using, if I have a link for it, I will absolutely link it for you. Um, so I'm gonna sit here and ice roll while I do my five minute journal. Um, if you have not done one of these or if you're like, what the heck is that? It is a great way to 
set yourself up for the day and get you in like the right mindset. Um, it's a great way for you to like remind yourself of what you're thankful for, like what you're grateful for. Um, and just get you in a positive mindset for the day. Um, you know, there's three different sections in the morning that you're supposed to fill out, uh, what you're grateful for, what would make today great and daily affirmations. And then at the nighttime part, you're supposed to fill out what were your three highlights of the day and what did you learn? So it really just kind of makes you do some introspective, um, reflecting, um, so that you can really just take a new perspective on life and get into a more positive mindset. Um, I know that especially during this time of year, but at any time of the year, really, it's really easy to fall into the habit of just, I, I don't know if it's a habit, but it's really easy to just fall victim to being like really stressed out. Um, I know that I can let stress get the best of me very easily. So this just kind of helps with that and it helps put things into a different perspective. Like, yeah, things may seem very difficult, but remember that there's so many other things to be grateful for at the moment. So this definitely helps me on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to start my morning gratitudes. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is the morning part and it always has a little quote at the top. So today's quote says, thankfulness may consist merely of words. Gratitude is shown in acts. Actually, I really think that that's very, very true. Um, you know, hold on, let me think on this for a second. Sorry, camera died there for a second. I had to change the battery. Um, yeah. So back to what I was saying. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that quote because I don't think that you necessarily have to reciprocate with another act to show that you are truly grateful for something. Maybe it depends on what that act is because I don't think that being grateful should be like transactional. I don't know. I have to think on that. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and do my journaling while I Ooh, well, I still, that feels so good. Okay. And then hopefully by the time I'm done this, I can switch laundry or at least maybe get some vacuuming done before I head to the gym. So I am back from the gym and I stopped at the grocery store on the way home. Um, I just wanted to pick up just a couple of staple items that I usually keep in my fridge um, just for breakfast and lunch throughout the week. 
just so that it makes it easier for me to like not have to guess what I'm going to have for breakfast or lunch while I'm working from home. In case you don't know, in case you're new here, I do have a normal like nine to five work from home job. Um, and I do tend to just get stuck in front of the computer a lot of the time. Um, and the days will just kind of fly by me. Time will just escape me. So it's important for me at least to make sure that I know ahead of time what my meals are going to be. Um, and to just make sure they're quick, easy, simple, like take the guesswork out of it all. So I stopped at the grocery store and just picked up some of my staple items that make those meals a lot easier for me. So let me show you what I got. Okay. So like I said, <laughs> just a couple of staple items. I have just these, um, Caesar salad kits. Um, these I will like, I'll have one whole bag as my lunch with, um, I found these chicken strips from Costco that I'll just like throw in the air fryer and then pop over the, um, entire salad. And then I have my own little chicken Caesar salad. So that's like super quick and easy for me. So it's nice, light, healthy. And then with the chicken, I have my added protein, um, eggs. These are mainly for my husband. I know that he loves eggs in the morning. Um, I don't typically have eggs. Um, I'm more of a bagel or a oatmeal kind of girl, which leads me to my next thing. Um, I grabbed some organic blueberries because now that we are in our colder months, um, I mean, typically I will choose a bagel for breakfast, but in the winter, I love a good bowl of oatmeal. So I usually put blueberries on top of my oatmeal with, um, some like almond butter or something like that. So I had to grab some blueberries. I have a gigantic container of oats already, but I needed that to go with the oatmeal. And then a coffee creamer. I usually always go back and forth between this one, the plant-based Chobani coffee creamer or the nut pods. Uh, so this time I just wanted to go with the Chobani just to switch it up a little bit. Um, and then these I just grabbed for lunch today. This isn't like a staple for like throughout the week, although I'm not going to be able to finish this whole bag. So maybe I'll freeze the rest of them and maybe I can have these for lunch instead of a salad one day. Um, these are just some plant-based chicken nuggets. So they're not like real chicken. Um, it's just plant-based protein. Um, there's a lot, I mean, I'm not vegan or vegetarian by any means, but there's a lot of times where I don't really crave meat. So there are times where I will substitute for a plant-based option. Um, and I've had these before. These are actually pretty good. So again, I'll throw these in the air fryer and snack on these, which is what I plan on doing now because I am ravished after the gym. Also, another part of like resetting, I feel like is making sure that you're like, if you've fallen off of your, I want to say supplement routine, it's just getting back into that. And one of my daily supplements that I try to make sure that I take every day is a symbiotic. So it's not just a probiotic. It is a pre, pro, and postbiotic that I take. It's from Ritual. So it's this guy here. And I take one of these every day. It helps with like all parts of the digestive tract um, just to help promote a healthy gut. And I'm sure a lot of you may know, but if you don't know, um, they say that all health starts within the gut, whether it's skin issues, immunity, um, like all sorts of health issues start within the gut. So if you work on getting your gut healthy, then you are working on your overall health. Um, another supplement that I take is just a daily multivitamin. And I have found that this one is my favorite by Smarty Pants. Um, it's just the women's formula. So this is the only one that I found that has most of the actual vitamins that women, they say, are supposed to take. And it doesn't have all of like the extra added stuff like sugar, gelatin, um, and all that extra stuff, gluten, wheat, milk, eggs, and all that other like extra stuff. So now that I have those little plant-based chicken nuggets in the air fryer, I'm going to take these vitamins because I don't like taking vitamins on an empty stomach per se. And these chicken nuggets are about to be done in one minute. So I'm going to take these and then eat, and then I should be good to go.
the bedding is like halfway done. Um, the sheets are done. I'm just waiting on the comforter, which, as you know, takes the absolute longest. Um, so now it's like, I don't know, two o'clock. We have to leave by four to go to our um, Christmas lights thing that we're going to tonight, which will be part of tomorrow's Vlogmas. So if you want to see some Christmas lights, stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, but as I said, I wanted to show you guys like some tips and tricks for taking care of your skin in the winter in the cold months. Um, and this goes into my part of the self-care part of the Sunday reset. Because um, I'm about to get in the shower and start getting ready. Before I get in the shower, there is part of a little skin prep that I do to help with my dry skin. Um, and the first part of that is dry brushing. And I actually got this little guy. It's from Eco Tools. I picked this up at Target. I think it was only like a couple of dollars, if that. Um, and literally all you do is just take the brush dry and literally just start lightly brushing it over your skin. And I just do this like on my arms and my legs really. Um, and I just kind of keep going in like, you see that I'm going in like circular motions here. And I will just do this all over, like I said, my arms and my legs. That's where I tend to get the most dry. Um, and by the way, I'm so sorry for the fan that's literally right above you. <laughs> I am unable to film in this bathroom without the fan being on. Like, it's just, I turn on the light switch and the fan automatically comes on. So I'm so sorry. I'm trying to talk loudly enough so that my voice is like louder than the fan. But all I do is just like, dry brush very lightly. You don't want to go too hard because then obviously you're going to irritate your skin and you don't want to do that. So just lightly brush over your skin. And I will do this on my arms, uh, maybe on the backs of my hands because my hands do get very dry too. And then I will do my legs. Um, and then I did want to share with you something that I do use in the shower as well that does very much so help with dry skin is I use this um, sugar scrub, Shea's Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. I get this at Ulta and I'm pretty sure they also sell it at like Target too. Um, but the one that I use is Coconut Lime. It's probably my favorite scent. It's this here. And literally you just take a scoop out with your hand and just massage it into your skin. Um, you can do it either before or after you wash your body. Um, and just like get it in there. Um, it's just like a nice little exfoliating scrub for your body. Um, and then after my shower, I will show you what I do as far as like lotions, oils, and things like that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair or anything, but um, I have quite a few post-shower skincare products that will absolutely help with dry skin that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, the first one being more like an everyday like body cream or than a lotion. And this one I get from Target. It's by the brand Flamingo. And this one smells amazing and I feel like it really penetrates really deep into the skin smells like really fresh, really clean. Um, I'm not a fan of anything that has like a real like fruity scent. I really like the more clean, maybe even we'll say masculine scents. And this one has that kind of a scent. Um, so this I will put all over uh, my entire body pretty much. I'll slather myself in this stuff. Why is my camera not focusing? So anyway. I will pretty much slather myself in this stuff. So that's the first thing. And then another thing that I will add to my regimen is the Necessaire body lotion. So this one is more just for like maintenance days. Um, if I feel like the body cream is doing a really good job and my skin's not feeling quite as dry, then I'll put the lotion on. I feel like a lotion is good for just like 
every so often, but if your skin is really dry and it like really needs some TLC, then I feel like a cream is going to be a lot more, like I said, I think it's really going to penetrate the different layers of the skin better than a lotion. I feel like a lotion kind of just sits on top of the skin and the cream is really going to get in there. And then another favorite of mine, um, if I just want like that little extra added benefit, plus it also helps make my skin look really good. So let's say I have like an event to go to and I'm wearing a dress or something like that. This I use all year round, um, especially in the summer, um, because we all know that like if you're sitting in the sun too long and you get um, really dry skin just from that, but this also does help in the winter too with dry skin. It's the Palmer's Coconut Oil, and that's this guy here. As you can tell, <laughs> I use it all the time. And I will even layer this over the Flamingo Cream. Like, these two together are an amazing duo. Um, I might even do that today. Um, so those are like my three main products that I use for my body. This next one that I want to talk about, I don't feel like gets talked about all that often, and I feel like it should. And that topic is taking care of our feet. Um, I feel like, you know, we go to get pedicures and stuff like that, but then I feel like we don't talk enough about taking care of our feet at home. I use my little pumice stone that I have in the shower. In fact, let me get it and show you. Sorry, it's like all wet, obviously, because I just took a shower. But this is my little pumice stone, and you can get like a pack of like three of these off of Amazon. It's literally dripping, because <laughs> I just had a shower. Um, I will scrub my feet with these every single day, just to make sure that I'm keeping the bottoms of my feet, like my heels and um, that other part near my big toe, like the, the parts where you're, like the pressure points of your feet, like where they hit the floor the most. Um, just to make sure I'm keeping them the softest, right? You know, those parts of your feet get the most wear and tear. So I feel like it's important to give them some extra tender little care. And then after the shower, after I've scrubbed them really good, gotten all like the dead skin off, I'm sorry if this sounds gross, but it's real life. Then I like to actually put aquaphor on the bottoms of my feet before I put socks on. And I know this sounds gross to some people, and I know that like skews some people out the thought of having something on your feet before you put socks on, but trust me, your feet feel so baby smooth. Like it feels like so freaking smooth after you're done with this. Like after you take your socks off and you're like, oh my gosh, my feet have never smelled, smelled, felt more smooth. Um, trust me, I've been, I've been trying this and it has been like a holy grail for me. So just another little life hack for you. Okay, the next product I wanna share with you before I move on to like my facial skincare is my hands. Um, my hands also tend to get very dry. Um, I'm constantly washing my hands. I feel like especially now more than ever, just because of, I mean, ever since COVID, it, I don't know about you guys, but I am much more aware of how often we should be washing our hands. Um, so I found this actually, and this was actually found from a TikTok that Haley Bieber did when she was actually talking about um, moisturizer for her skin. And I did try it on my face and I love it on my face, but I rubbed the remaining, like the excess product on my hands and I loved how it felt on my hands. And I get it from Whole Foods. It's just the Walita skin food. And this is what it looks like. And I just love using this stuff on my hands and it makes them feel so much better because after washing them so much, I get like those little cracks like in between all of my knuckles and stuff. It's just, it's not fun in the winter. So this is a great product for your hands. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've kind of like ditched the whole um, dip powder nail, gel nail thing. Like I've ditched that whole thing and we've gone natural, right? Um, we're all about that natural nail life now. I'm um, just kind of giving my nails a break, letting them breathe and kind of get back to their like healthier state, we'll say. And part of that process is a good 
beautiful oil. And I found this one off of, you guessed it, Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it below for you as usual. Um, but I use that every morning and night. Um, if you can see, and this was actually a repurchase too. You can tell I've used quite a bit of it already after repurchasing it. Um, and it works great. Um, I mean, don't mind my nails today. They actually look kind of in shambles right now just because I've been cleaning all day, which does happen if you spend your day cleaning. Great idea to use some hand cream and cuticle oil just to get your skin back to being nourished. Like you need to put some moisture back into your skin. So, okay. Now moving on to the facial skincare. Um, this is just like my usual holy grail skincare products. Um, I'm not gonna go into like what's AM versus PM per se, but these are just ones that I gravitate to. Um, well, yeah, my moisturizer, I will tell you which one is AM versus PM because I do have one for the morning and I do have one for night. Um, but Something that I do use both day and night is my vitamin C serum from the Inky List. And that's this guy here. Um, this guy actually does help with, not necessarily for moisturizing, but it does help with dark spots. Um, and it does help with like the aging process. I'm 35 years old. I do have some spots on my face just from prior years of being in the sun and things like that. When I was younger, I didn't know much about taking care of my skin. Now that I'm in, the, in my 30s, I am much more well-versed in the skincare realm of things. <laughs> um, I wish I would have known more about it sooner so that I would have started taking care of my skin at a younger age. It just wasn't widely talked about back then. I don't know why, um, but I am taking much more care of my skin now. Uh, another product that I have is Hyaluronic Acid, and it's from The Ordinary. I have a lot of products from The Ordinary. They are so affordable, and they are effective. Um, Hyaluronic Acid actually does help with uh, moisture. Um, if you have dry skin, Hyaluronic Acid is actually good for that. At least that's what I was told. Um, so that's this guy here. little we'll focus. There we go. A little bit. Okay. Um, but I use this guy typically at night. Uh, this isn't one of my morning products. In the morning, I try to leave my skincare as minimal as possible so that it's not weighing so heavy on my skin throughout the day or on your makeup. And then at night, I always make sure I have an eye cream. And this one is so moisturizing that when I go to wash my face in the morning, I actually still feel the lotion under my eye from the night before. And it's by It Cosmetics. It's the Confidence in an Eye Cream. And it's this little pot right here. And I don't even know, honestly, if they make this anymore. And if they don't, I'm going to be so sad because this has become my favorite. And I'm running out. Like, I'm almost about to hit pan. I don't use, like, you don't need a lot of it. Like, seriously, the smallest little dab goes a long way just because it's only going under your eye. Um, and when I do run out, I am going to be so sad if they don't make it anymore and I'm going to have to find a new one. So if anybody knows of any good eye creams, let me know. Drop a comment below. And then the only other thing I have for skincare products as far as moisturizing is actual moisturizer. Um, my Holy Grail daily like AM moisturizer is my first A Beauty and it's the Ultra Repair Cream. That's this guy here. I have been using this for forever. In fact, I'm gonna have to repurchase soon because we can tell, like, I am literally almost out. So, I need to put this on my Sephora list. I'm pretty sure my husband uses this too, and he just won't tell me. But anyway, that is my um, holy grail. It, this thing, it's. The best. I mean, it also actually helps with minor irritation. Um, so I don't know if you could tell, but like I do have redness in my skin. Um, I have been told by dermatologists that I do have some sort of form of rosacea, and I do notice that when I do use this moisturizer, that it does help tone it down. So if you are somebody out there with rosacea and you need a good moisturizer, 
try the first aid duty one. And then last but not least, we have my, actually no, the first aid duty, that's my night one. I'm sorry, I said day, it's night. Um, my favorite day cream, my day moisturizer is from Shiseido. And the problem with this one is I bought this when Ulta was having their, um, I don't know if it was like 12 days of Ulta or something like that, where it was like for every day during the sale, they would have a new product that was half off. And this stuff is like normally $70 or something like that. Like it's ridiculously expensive. And I got it for $35. And this is what it looks like. I mean, it's beautiful packaging. And when you actually put it on, in fact, I will put it on now since I'm going to be getting ready. I mean, it leaves such a pretty glow. It's not like an annoyingly um, overpower glow. Like it's just enough. Now my skin does get red when I actually like rub something on it. That's why my skin immediately gets red. Thank you, Rosacea. But you can tell like it's just a pretty little glow. And that's what I love about it. It is moisturizing um, and it looks really pretty under makeup. So that's why it has quickly become my favorite day cream. Um, and it smells so luxurious. So if I can, I will link all of these products below. Like I said, we don't gatekeep here. Um, and I love sharing products with you guys because if it works for me, I hope that it works for you. So I'm gonna start getting ready and I need to see if my comforter is ready to be flipped over in the dryer. That thing takes dang forever to dry. Does anybody else feel like their comforters or down comforters take forever to dry? Because mine does. And I hate that. I'm always like fearful that by the time I'm ready for bed, it's never going to be ready. And then I'm going to like freeze at night. Like I'm not going to have anything to sleep with. Let me know if you have that same fear or if you experience that same thing. Okay guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap up my Sunday reset. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you guys can get some inspiration. Um, let me know what your Sunday reset looks like. Drop a comment below and let me know. Um, I'm going to finish off my Sunday reset by spending some quality time with my husband tonight. Volante and I are going to go to a Christmas light display. It's like an hour away. Um, that's why we are going to start going now and it's like still daylight out by the time we get there it will be dark out but as i said your sunday reset looks your sunday reset is how you it's whatever you make it right so for me my sunday reset is going to be capped off with some quality time with my husband so if you guys want to see how the christmas lights turn out be sure to stay tuned make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and if you like this video, be sure to click that little like button down below. I'm so happy that you guys are here with me. Um, I'm so proud of the little family that we are growing over here. So um, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.